Hey guys, how you doing? In this video, I'm going to talk about confidence. Now, confidence takes a big place in the dog training world. The reason why is because dogs respond good to those who have strong confidence. Now, it's kind of hard to develop confidence, especially when you have a difficult dog or when you have a dog that's really not listening, it's really challenging. Uh, it's hard to have the confidence to believe that that dog is going to do something that you're asking it to do. So, therefore, you always have to have the confidence no matter what. You have to have confidence in yourself, confidence in your dog. That way your dog feeds off that energy. If you come in across with no confidence whatsoever and you're trying to handle a situation, your dog's going to know that. So if you're not all there with confidence and you're just wondering how you're going to get this dog to sit or how you're going to get this dog to stop barking uh, or how are you going to get this dog to start walking properly, then your dog is not going to obey or follow you. So you want to start thinking like a natural leader. Natural leaders are calm, they're relaxed, they don't say I'm a count of three and at the count of three if you don't do this, I'm going to come put you in your place. No, they just do it because they're confident, they have that control. So you want to be that strong leader guys. So again, confidence is not always going to be there but you can always develop it. So if you're trying to get your dog to start doing something like a um, listen to, to a commander or start getting better with the bad behavior, build that confidence. Once you have that, your dog's going to know that you're in charge and there's a whole different attitude putting on that you're bringing out in the table so your dog's going to feed off that. And of course, you're going to have some challenges with your dog, but at least your confidence. Now, number one rule, guys, never give up. If you give up, what's going to happen is your dog's going to know that. So then your dog's going to say, I'm in charge, not you. Second rule, guys, again, Confidence. Confidence is the key for training. Without that confidence, you're not going to get far. So, if you want to be in charge of your dog, if you want to teach your dog how to obey better, confidence. That's all I can say. When I come across dogs that are really challenging or, or they're just pulling me or barking or, or whatever situation, uh, you name it, I've been in, in plenty. Whatever situation I'm in, the first thing I do is start up my confidence. I think, okay, this is a challenging dog, but it doesn't mean it can't obey what I'm going to make the dog do. So what I do, I approach the dog, take the leash, remain calm, and with my confidence, I start working with the dog. Therefore, the dog's going to see that I'm being confident and it's going to start obeying the commands and everything I'm saying because it's going to see me as the natural leader because I'm showing the dog what to do. I'm not stressing out. I'm not going like, oh, what am I going to do? How am I going to fix this? No, don't do that. And if you are, take a break. If, you, if you're if you going to approach your dog and you don't know what you're going to do, uh, take a break, you know, make a plan how you're going to do it uh, before you approach your dog. Because if you approach the dog confused, again, the dog's going to feed out that energy and they're going to say, okay, this person doesn't know what they're doing. So obviously I need to take control. No, you don't want that. You want to make sure you challenge your dog from the beginning. You discipline your dog and you challenge your dog. Okay. Now, if you guys have any question whatsoever, feel free to comment or just, um, again, message me however you guys want, and I'll be right here to answer any other questions. Um, we do offer training services. Of course, uh, just give me a call and I can help you guys out. Um, but again, confidence, guys. Confidence is the key. And if you don't have confidence, you can start developing confidence. You can start getting that confidence that you need. But sometimes it just needs you need that extra push to give you that confidence, which is talking to a trainer. So watch this video if it gives you more confidence. If, if it develops your mind to become more confident in what you're going to be doing. And hopefully it helps you out, okay? I'm the Dog Translator. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys next Wednesday for a new video.